If you're living in the past, you have a problem. You have a serious fucking problem. Every one of you is watching. Look me in my fucking eyes. If you are living in the past, you have a problem. Welcome to the debrief. Today, we've got a very special microphone here for us. And it's just gonna hang like this the whole time because that's really the best I got. All right, as you can as you can see, we're in a new location. Last time was Hawaii for the Silky's hike. This time I'm in Utah, and I want you to appreciate that. How good is the view? Mm, it's okay. It could be better. I have something that I, I've been wanting to talk about for a while, and I thought about this a lot today as I was uh, snowboarding with my dad. <laughs> The topic of the day is identity. What do you, as a dude or a chick, identify as? I'll tell a little bit about myself and what I have identified as throughout my life. And it's, it's changed in different phases of my life. And then I'll talk about why it's really, really important for you to figure out what your identity is. Early on in my childhood, I would say I identified as a basketball player. That was my first love as a sport. As I got older, and let's say getting into high school, I still identified as a basketball player, but I didn't make the high school team, so I wasn't too open about that identity. Freshman year until sophomore year, I identified as a guy. I didn't, I didn't really, I was searching for my identity at the time, freshman year of high school. Then, sophomore year of high school, I started playing football. I'm getting testosterone, and I'm like, oh, I wanna be aggressive, and I go out and I play football, and I was terrible, I literally never played. Not a down to the very last fucking five plays of the entire goddamn JV season. But I identified as a football player for that year. After that year, I set a goal for myself. And I was like, all right, I'm going to stay JV. I know that all the guys in my grade, guys who go juniors, who become juniors, who go varsity, they're all going to make fun of me even more than they already do. But I was, at the time, I was like, well, they're already making fun of me and bullying me all the time. So who cares? <laughs> I might as well do something I enjoy doing. Because I believed that if I worked really, really hard in the offseason, I could start both ways on offensive line and defensive line, and then be the long snapper and be on all the special teams. I set that goal for myself. That's what I'm doing. I'm staying JV. And I'm, gonna, I'm never coming off the field. And that's exactly what I did. So then I identified as a football player who was decent. But I still was searching for myself, my, my own identity. I was sick and tired of all the kids who would talk shit to me and try to bully me. And I really wanted to stand up for myself. And I really admired all the kids who were scrappy as fuck. The kids who like, they were skinny and, and small and like, like you would look at them and most people would be like, yeah, I could beat that guy's ass. But they didn't care. They stood up to anybody and I admired that. And I was like, I want to be like that. I want to be a scrapper. So I started fighting and I started coming after the guys that bullied me and I cracked a lot of their fucking heads open and it felt amazing. So my identity after that was I'm a brawler. A scrapper. Some people looked up to me for that and wanted my friendship all of a sudden. Nobody wanted to be my friend until I start knocking guys out. And then everybody wants to be my friend. It's weird how that happened. Girls all of a sudden want to talk to me. Um, it's really horrible that life is like that. High school's like that, at least for me. But that was, that was the reality. I carried this identity as a brawler and a hard partier for the rest of high school. Finished that, came into college. I was looking for what is my college identity. And I started Accutane my freshman year of college, which Accutane is a really, really intense drug for cystic acne. I had a bad reaction to it, as many people do. It, for many people, it makes you worse before it gets better. My face blew up, <clears throat> fucking got nailed with a nuclear acne bomb. And I was so fucking ugly, I had to take the mirrors down to my dorm room. I couldn't look at mirrors anymore, period. And I got really depressed. I didn't want to go to class because I looked so hideous. I was constantly cracking and bleeding and these big fucking welts on my face. It was horrible. Pus dripping out, blood dripping out, blackheads, whiteheads, you name it. It was so bad, chest and back too. So all the scars that I have here, here, face, it's all from that experience. It turned out to be a great experience because it taught me character. Because in that time I thought, well, if nobody wants to look at me, they're at least going to want to talk to me because I'm going to be the funniest guy in the fucking room. My personality will overwhelm everyone to make up for this fucking hideous face. I told that to myself. I didn't want to be remembered as that shy kid with acne. I want to be remembered that it's that loud, obnoxious, funny kid with acne. I started to create a new identity for myself. I wasn't playing sports as much because with the Accutane, it could, and you start, I'd start sweating and then all of a sudden my skin cracks. My identity became, I'm a funny guy. Then I joined a fraternity and my identity became, I'm a frat guy. But I wasn't just any frat guy, I was a super frat guy. I was like sports chair, social chair, uh, scholarship chair. I was the president of my fraternity twice. So I identified as a Sigma Nu. That was my ID. I'm a Sigma Nu. So that was my identity in college, but I was also a jock. So I identified as, and I joined the jock frat, right? So I identified as a jock who's in Sigma Nu. Then after that, I finished college and I started becoming a teacher and a personal trainer. That was my new identity, is I'm a trainer. Then I started doing triathlons. I'm a triathlete. And then 
I joined the Marine Corps, 25 years old. I had to have surgeries on both shoulders. Then I had a feeling I was going to blow my legs off or die in Afghanistan because the things were, the war was, the surge was picking up. So I'm like, let me knock off a bunch of bucket list items before I join. So that's why it wasn't until 25 that I joined. And I wanted to join ready to die. That was my, that was my thing. I, want to, I don't ever want to s approach my death in combat and be afraid. I wanted to laugh my way out of life. And I, I lived in a manner that I felt comfortable doing so. And plus I had asthma going in, like bad asthma and allergies and shit. And so I was like, I thought the gas chamber might kill me and I was ready for it to kill me. I'm like, I'm not gonna ask for an inhaler and go out like that. So I might die. Let's fucking go. My identity was I am a Marine officer and then I get the infantry spot. I'm a fucking grunt. That's my identity. I'm a grunt. Do all the grunt stuff for four years, two deployments, 31st Mew, Marine Expeditionary Unit, and then um, Afghanistan, 2012, Musa Kayla, now Zad Zamindawar. Did awesome shit, got to do helo raids. Did, did this like literally lived the dream there. Nobody in Fox Company died, so very, very fortunate for that. Thine blew his legs off, but that was the worst casualty that we had. So just very, very fortunate that that was all we experienced because a lot of the other companies lost, all the other companies lost guys. So I come out now, I'm a combat vet. That's my identity. And I held that for years. I don't know at what point I started letting go of that. But what I realized was that that identity as a combat grunt, it kept me a really arrogant guy, kept me really fucking obnoxious and just rude and abrasive to people because that's what the grunt life is like. I did my four years and it was nothing but men who were competing to be alpha male. But that was another thing, I identified as the alpha. I'm the alpha, I'm a grunt. And you know, the way that I treated everyone around me, talked to people, approached life was as such. And then that started hurting relationships because <clears throat> as probably everyone who's ever been in the infantry knows, your civilian friends don't wanna be your fucking friends <laughs> for that many hours out of the day because you're a fucking asshole. All you guys know, it's a fucking, it's a harsh existence in the infantry and it has to be like that, it can't ever change. Nevertheless, it is not healthy for the long term. So part of what I, why I'm making these videos and what I want everyone to understand is to recognize what that mindset is. The mindset comes with the identity. I'm a grunt. And as a result, I'm gonna let everybody fucking know I'm a grunt. I was just walking with a couple grunts in the Silky Psych in Hawaii the other day and they're just walking by, no, Matthias was. And a couple grunts were like, hey yo, fucking go punch that bitch in the face right now. Like look, some random guy just standing there. Go fucking, hey, go kick that chick in her chest. Fucking do it, bro. Like just psychopaths. <laughs> That's what grunts are. Psychos. And they have to be. The guys didn't do it, by the way. They're just talking shit like all grunts do. So I ident identified as a grunt. Then, after starting the nonprofit, I still kind of held on to that. But then, after this nonprofit started Vet TV, started, you know, learned the hard way that the, the grunt uh, officer leadership style doesn't work in the civilian world. People don't like that shit. So I started changing my identity. My identity was I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a comedian. But once I changed my identity, my attitude, my mindset, my behaviors f started to change. And that's so fucking important. And that's what I, I really want you guys to take away from this. All of the thoughts that run through your fucking head all throughout the day, not just the words that come out of your mouth, and not just the actions that you take, the thoughts that exist in here, they are all built, they are around the core that is your identity. And guess who chooses your identity? You. Nobody gives you your identity, but you. You volunteer for the Marine Corps. You chose the identity as a Marine. If you, in the draft, that's a different story and that's a very unfortunate fucking circumstance. But all of you guys who are watching, for the most part, volunteered. You chose the identity of, I'm a soldier, I'm a Marine, I'm a sailor, I'm, a, I'm an airman, I'm a coastie. And your actions and your mindset and your thoughts follow. The people you hang out with, the people you hang out with help guide your thoughts. And it's a, it's a perpetuating cycle stemming from your identity. My ideal world is I identify as an athlete, I'm an all sport, but especially an adventure sport athlete, an extreme sport athlete, and a comedian. That is what I want to identify as. If I stopped identifying as an entrepreneur, then my attitudes might follow, and then I might not be a very good entrepreneur. So I cannot lose that. I choose to maintain that identity. I also identify as a writer and as a filmmaker. Writing is the foundation of everything that I have done as a professional entertainer. Writing is the foundation of entertainment. Writing music, writing stand-up, writing television, writing movies, writing books. Writing is where it starts. Writing is at the core of my identity as a professional. Um, and then also as a filmmaker. Run a television network. That is who I am. If someone said, who are you? I wouldn't say Marine. Fuck no. I wouldn't say Grunt. That was the past, right? That life is behind me. That's what a lot of y'all gotta fucking get. Doesn't matter, you did four years or you did 20. That life is behind you. Get over that shit because hanging on to that identity is not going to help you move forward if you're always thinking about the past then when are you ever excited about the future it doesn't matter how old you are even if you're 70 you got a, potentially a lot of life ahead of you unless of course you're you have an illness or something but for the most part if you're watching these videos um you probably have a lot of life ahead of you and all of your thoughts on any given fucking day should be about 
the life that is ahead of you, not the past, all right? And that includes trauma. Lots of you who are watching have immense trauma in the past. Most of it's childhood. The stuff that happened in the military, it, you know, it's just like made shit a little bit worse. But everyone's shit comes from childhood because that's when your brain gets wired. So if you're still living in your childhood past, then you need to see a fucking therapist and a counselor and you need to get past that. You need to find some sort of closure or conclusion to your past and then develop a vision of your future and keep seeing that. Who do I, it's, it's like, yeah, this is who I've been. All these things have happened to me. A lot of it's, I'm a victim. This happened to me and this sucks and this, this and I'm, I'm blaming all these things. It's like, okay, you know, you live that for a while. Those are very, very serious issues that, that cause all of the mental health issues. You have to make an effort to fix them. If you're living in the past, you have a problem. You have a serious fucking problem. Every one of you is watching. Look me in my fucking eyes. If you are living in the past, you have a problem. You have to fix that problem. And you know, the first way to start doing it, I'm not gonna solve all your problems. Here's, here's what I'm gonna tell you to do. Google, how do I stop thinking about the past? I guarantee fucking to you, you're gonna come across articles that blow your mind. Google it. How do I stop thinking about the past? Remember, I started TV network by Googling, how do I start my own version of Netflix? Okay, so if I could do that, you could do the thing that literally 99% of the world is, is dealing with, which is trauma from the past. So you need to get over the identity as this military guy. Stop identifying as a veteran. Right? Even that, that's, that's weak sauce. Right? When somebody asks, well, who are you? I don't say, I'm a veteran. No, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a comedian, and I'm an adventure sport, extreme sport athlete. That's who I am. So because I identify as an athlete, what does that mean I'm doing all the time? I'm, I'm doing athletic things. I'm being a fucking athlete. I'm riding my mountain bike. I'm riding my beach cruiser. I'm riding my one wheel. I'm riding my skateboard. I'm on the fucking snowboard. I'm working out. I'm dancing. That, that, that's the next identity that very soon I'm gonna identify as a dancer. That's my goal because I love my identity and I choose it. But I am so grateful for the fucking body that I have, that I was born with for one, that I've taken care of, that is that didn't get blown up. I'm so grateful for it. I just wanna dance my fucking ass off and express how fucking grateful I am. That's part of all of my athletic shit. I'm just like, I got this body. I gotta fucking use it. Can't just sit around wasting it. I hate that shit. Lazy. That motherfucker's just lazy. So your identity, right? Stop with identify as a veteran. I'm a Marine. I'm this stuff from the past. What is it that you do now? If what you do professionally, you don't want to identify as, well, I'd recommend changing it because what you do as a profession is a third of your life. So I'd recommend changing it. Now, if you can't change it because you have a family to provide for, you got a good job, you just got to suck it up. Fine, so be it. Come up with another identity. I'm a father. I'm an amazing husband. I'm an amazing dad. I am an athlete. I'm an outdoorsman. I'm a fisherman. Maybe you're a biker. You do you. Just know who the fuck you, what you are identifying as and then ensure that your actions and your thoughts, your behaviors, match your identity. If you identify as, oh yeah, I'm just a fucking fat guy. Well then guess what? <laughs> You're gonna be a fat guy until you stop identifying as that. Your identity is everything. Your identity will guide all the things that you think, guide the things that you say, and the things that you think and say guide the things that you actually fucking do. So choose your identity carefully and make sure that your identity is something that is positive. It is healthy. It's uplifting. It is going to bring good things it's gonna bring health and happiness and love to you and the people around you. Your identity should do that for you. Um, and that is going to help add to a happy and, and loving life, which is what all the fucking shit I'm doing here is, is trying to help you guys find and achieve a happy, healthy life. Full of love, joy, creating shit. In the military, we were destroying shit. We're done with that. We're creating shit now. Hope that was helpful. And I would love for you guys to put in the comments what you identify as and what maybe, you know, write down what you've identified as in the past and what you identify as now and what you would like to identify as in the future. Because in the, let me tell you right now, in the future, I want to identify as a comedian, as a musician, a filmmaker. Here I want to identify as a musician and as a dancer. And then I also want to, I want to create adventures outside in nature for veterans, um, but especially veterans that have um, injuries stemming from the military, uh, ideally and uh, take them out, take you guys out into the surf, into the wilderness, and then into the fucking mountains and experiencing physical activity in nature, having a new skill that you're trying to get good at and I wanna help facilitate that for you all. So one day I will identify as a guide. Um, I kind of identify now as a camp counselor, right? Like I like to think of myself as the camp counselor of the veteran community. You ever see me at a Silky's hike? That's like, I'm just like walking around trying to fucking make people feel good and shit. You know, just like I did when I was a camp counselor. Just look at the quiet kids and go talk to them, make them feel good. You're doing the same shit. Why? Because that's what I identify as. That simple. All right. Hope this was helpful. Let me know what you identify as now and what you want to identify as later. Peace, love, and war. Freeze it!